welcome back sausages. So this time we're going to be looking at my magical foil technique with a little bit of sugar in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off these designs very simply with a white background and I've got three different coloured foils here, purple, silver and blue. Um, you could choose any colour you want. So let's go. So we're going to start by popping two coats of white gel polish down onto your nail. Once you've done two coats of white and cured both, we're then going to do a matte top coat, a no white matte top coat, and cure that in your lamp. I'm using a fine liner brush, I'm using my Elise brush. I'm going to use some foil gel, or you can use base coat or any clear gel that you've got that has a, an inhibition layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on the top of my butterfly wings. Now it's very, very difficult for you to see this because it's clear on clear on white. But I'm, you'll see once I've put the foil on what I've done. So I'm painting in that first section. I'm going to do the butterfly on a slight slant, so not square on. Um, for composition it, it does look a lot better if you do things at an angle. So I'm just doing the tops of the wings, not the whole wings, just the tops of the wings with the foil gel. And then I'm going to cut my foil into small squares and where I've painted on those larger areas, I'm just going to lay that piece of foil over the top and pop it in the lamp to cure. When it comes out, when it's cured, you simply get your tweezers and peel it off. Okay? It's more, you get more of a, um, a flat, shiny finish than you do with doing it the normal foil way. I much prefer it. It's flat, much flatter and, and a much nicer look. So just lay that little square over wet gel, pop it in the lamp and cure it, then bring it out and peel it off. And I'm going to repeat that on these bottom wings. So you could use different coloured foils for this, you don't have to use silver, I just tried to keep the colour nice. So just finish off this bottom here and once you've done all of this I want you to go over the foil with a thin layer of no white top coat before we start painting the white. Now I've missed that bit off the filming but yeah you need to, once you've done this bit just go over the silver with a thin top coat. So once you've gone over the silver with a thin top coat, we're then going to start painting the details on. So I'm using Nail Come Tack Free Gel Paint. Le Grand is tack free, that's really good. And I'm just going around the outside of my butterfly's wings and making them now start to look butterfly -y. So I'm adding some little elements in there with my tack free white gel paint. And I've got my Elise brush from Flo and LA, which I'm using here. So make this quite interesting. So if you do a rough outline in clear and cure to start with, you can just go over that outline. It just makes it a lot easier. I have a, just now I've noticed I have a little bit of a habit of twisting my tip. Like, look, here you go, look. I do it all the time. What's all that about? So anyway, uh, bottom wing. Now we're just going to carry on putting all those details through this design and then we are going to do the sugaring. Now for those of you that um, don't know what sugaring is, it's tapping a clear acrylic powder or a super fine glitter into a tack free surface and then curing. And then what you do is you just brush the excess off and it leaves you with a textured um, sparkly surface or just a textured surface if you just use clear acrylic powder. So I'm just popping in some antennas here and you see it's quite raised, it's quite embossed which is nice and then I'm going to use my little glitter catcher and I'm going to use ultra fine super fine glitter from Glitterati Nails this is and I'm going to cover the whole top of that gel and then I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure. So off it goes into the lamp 
and I'm just going to use my little scoop in this to pop that back into the bag. Do love this little contraption and the link for that is in the description. Good old AliExpress. So once that comes out we're going to use a dusty brush to fluff that off and you're left with a stunning butterfly. Hooray! So moving on now we're going to move on now to do a snowflake. So snowflakes essentially this one in particular is made up of diamonds and dots so I'm going to start by painting my first diamond in the center of the nail imagine a center line and I'm going to paint a long diamond and then I'm going to make a dot in the middle so you can see that my diamond is there in the middle and I'm going to lay my foil over the top so small square, pop it in the lamp and cure it. You can see there I've cut three more small squares and use your tweezers and peel off. And you get this lovely flat, shiny surface. It's lovely. So I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to do the same. Now it doesn't matter if they're symmetrical as long as they're in a rough shape because you are actually going to go round them with white. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't cure into a perfect diamond because you are going to make that diamond anyway by using the white. And we're going to do four of these. So they're going to be opposite each other and symmetrical and we're just going to do four of these. I do do them individually because obviously the foil overlapping. So I'm just going to do number three and number four and make a cross on the nail. I said earlier I was going to make a dot, I lied. I wasn't going to make a dot at all because I make the dot with white. So told you a porky. So that's number three. On just lay it on top. Don't squish it down because obviously you'll then spread your foil out, the foil glue out, and you don't want to do that. So as I said before, if you haven't got any foil glue, you can use base coat or anything with an inhibition layer. Um, I don't particularly like using builder gel I've used before which is fine uh, because you're putting it on wet it doesn't need a tacky top because it's going to stick to it when it goes in the lamp anyway because it's wet um, but I don't like using black for this because I don't want that shadow that's why I'm using clear so there's my dot in the middle of my tack free no wipe gel paint which doesn't self level because I want it to stay exactly where I put it. So I'm just going to put that dot on and before I go around the edge, I'm just going to sugar that dot so that I can work without nudging it. So I'm just gonna sugar that dot off and pop that in just for a quick flash cure so that I don't nudge it because uh, I'm terribly clumsy. So just quick 10, 15 second flash cure and brush that off. And just before I carry on with the rest of the white, I'm just going to put a very thin no wipe top coat layer over the top of this foil. So it's super, super thin just to seal that in. So we'll do all four. And once they're all done, we're going to cure those and continue painting the white onto the edges so we're on the edges of the snowflake now so I'm going to get my white quite liberally and because it's nice and thick I can make it stay where I put it I'm going to start painting some diamond shapes around my already top coated foily bit so you can see it doesn't matter if they're not exactly a diamond shape and it also doesn't matter if you can see the edge and the join here between the foil and the gel paint because when we sugar it it's going to take that away it's going to completely hide that you're not going to see it so we're just going to carry on around here painting these diamonds onto this snowflake so therapeutic watching it all come together I love it so just getting those diamonds painted on it's looking so much different now so it doesn't matter if this one's quite rounded but it doesn't matter because I'm going to use the gel on the outside to make it look more of a diamond shape anyway okay 
So there it is. And then I'm going to sugar this off before I do anything else. So here's my bag of ultra fine glitter. It will only work with powdery ultra fine glitter. You can use thicker glitter, but this is super fine mermaid red from Glitter Stella. So I know I absolutely love it. So look for them on Facebook and you can get it in red and green, although it isn't red, but it gives a, a really nice sheen. There you go. And then we're just going to fill in the little gaps in between with some detail with the white gel paint and then we're going to sugar that as well. So I'm just going to pop some. So you can see there I start off with quite a thick end to that line and then lift my pressure off and it brings it, tapers it into a thin. Um, my edgy mats, the fine line edgy mat will teach you how to paint a line um, and you might think that that's hard but it's not. Um, it, it's easy sorry to paint a line but it's not easy it's actually really hard so you've got those and we're just going to add some little fluffy bits to the edge of these so little diagonal lines I put a dot down and then I lift up and pull out to make a little teardrop and pop those on I'm just going to keep adding all these little details in and then I'm going to use my dotting tool to add a few dots. A nail tech's best friend is a dot, so my nail art needle, I'm just going to add some dots to the ends of my longer lines and to the points of my snowflake diamonds. And when I've done that, I'm going to then do the same again. So my super fine glitter, a spatula, spoony spatula, and I'm going to spoon that on over my glitter catcher, tap it off into the reservoir, put it under the lamp to cure, put the excess back in there and once that comes out we're going to brush it off with a with a dusty brush. Here we go. Get rid of all that excess glitter and there you have it. A snowflake fit for Elsa. So we're going to finish on a quickie bauble. So right in the middle of the nail, this is my foil glue. So I've got two colours, two coats of white, sorry, two coats of white gel and a matte top coat all on this base nail. And this is my clear foil gel. As I said before, you can use clear builder gel. You can use clear base coat. And paint on a shiny ball shape in the middle of the nail. Or you could do two shiny balls or three shiny balls. As many as you want and I'm going to get that square of foil and place it on and pop it into the lamp when it comes out after a minute's cure we're just going to lift that off and there we have a really shiny ball so we're going to go over the top of my shiny ball with clear top coat just a very thin layer and cure and once you've done that and it's cured, we're then going to go on with the white gel paint. So I'm just going around the edge. There is going to be a slight lip, but as I said before, I'm not bothered about that. What I'm bothered about is getting the white on thick enough so that my glitter adheres to it, but not so thick that it floods the design. So I'm going around the edge of this shiny ball with my tack free gel paint, like so. Just making sure that it's all covered. And then I'm going to put some lines across. Because I've put a thin layer of top coat over the top of this foil, that's fine, it's finished. So I'm just going to put some lines across to start giving the shiny ball some shape. And then adding a few little details. So a couple of lines and a couple of dots just to make that look like a shiny ball. So I'm going to just sugar this off before I do the string and the bow. So back with my little glitter catcher here and into the lamp to cure and I can use that again later on there's no waste and then we're going to take it out the lamp give it a dust off and we're going to start now painting the strings so wet um, gel again so I'm just going to put a couple of the knots of the bow in so I can see 
where my string needs to be. So I'm just painting in a rough bow. It needs to take seconds, this. And just a rough little bow. A dot in the middle for the knot. A couple of dots at the bottom so it looks like there's beads hanging off the bottom of it. String at the top. And I'm just going to put a couple of S little curly bits, number threes, backwards number threes, behind there, just so it looks like the bows fattened out. And then I'm going to get again my glitter again, um, and I'm going to pop it on and tap it in, let it soak through, and then I'm going to tap it off and pop it in the lamp to cure. Then take it out the lamp, brush it off, and we're done. So that's that one done. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.